All of these humble, unassuming looking airplane parts in front of you are about to be assembled into the mid fuselage. So this is section 26 of the plans. The mid fuselage is where the kind of the passengers sit. Uh, so what's the mid fuselage? Well, the mid fuselage is this big section right here. So this is where the passengers butts are gonna go. This is where the feet are gonna go. The front passengers and avionics are gonna be over here. Then the rear of the airplane is that way. Uh, it's a pretty substantial part of the overall construction and I'm really looking forward to seeing it come together. So there's actually not much else that I wanna say. Hopefully if everything goes the way I want it to in this video, it's just gonna be a whole bunch of building. So I'm gonna get after it. finish riveting this whole thing together. Um, overall, it wasn't too bad, except for some of these rivets were surprisingly difficult. I had to drill out a couple. Um, I had to make use of the offset rivet set, which I really hate that thing. It just, I don't have a great, I, I'm not great at controlling it yet. Uh, still, everything went together, things look good. Um, now I just need to build a wooden stand for this thing and kind of tilt it up like this so I can put the bottom skins on. Um, so that's basically what I'm gonna do next.
So I have clicked on the bottom skins on the mid fuse and sure enough, they all fit okay. I'm ready to take them off and then dimple the skins as well as the inboard ribs or the inside ribs and then rivet it back together. Uh, I also kind of seeing that I would, knowing that I would need comm radios on this airplane, I went out and bought two uh, comm antennas from Delta Pop Aviation. Uh, they look really nice. Um, and I drilled some holes in the bottom skin to allow for these things to be attached on the bottom of the airplane. Now I chose the second inboard bay underneath each passenger seat for the location of both comm antennas. There's gonna be one on each side, both underneath the airplane. And this is a common place where people put comm antennas on RV-10s. So that's where they're gonna go. Anyway, as this thing's flying through the air someday, uh, wind is gonna kind of exert a little bit of a force on this and the bottom skin is a little bit thin and it might kind of push up and maybe dent the skin a little bit. So I did what most people do. I went out and made some doublers from some scrap aluminum, uh, which are gonna kind of sandwich together like this and fit on the inside and kind of thicken the skin a little bit. Um, in hindsight, I made these probably a little bit too long, um, probably about one or two inches longer than they need to be. They might need a little, be a little bit too fat also, but it's not the first time I've heard that. Um, anyway, next up, I'm gonna take these things off, uh, dimple the skins, and then start ribbing them on the bottom fuselage. The time uh, from when I recorded that last bit until now has actually been about five months. Uh, when I closed off, that, closed off that last video segment, my intent was to take off the bottom skins from this fuselage, dimple them, rivet them back on, and all of that. Uh, but then as I mentioned in a prior video, uh, some life events got in the way. Uh, my daughter and her husband moved into our house while he's getting his master's degree. They had a baby and my youngest son got cancer. And between that and a couple other stuff, the summer hasn't really gone my way in terms of, well, a number of things, uh, but also in terms of the airplane. So I haven't done much for the last five months. Um, so I haven't been completely inactive. I did order an uh, air conditioning kit from Southwest, uh, excuse me, South Florida Sport Aviation. Uh, and the reason why I did that now, even though it's a little way off to where I'm gonna install most of it, um, I did wanna get this bottom scoop right here. So this is gonna hold part of the, uh, the condenser, I believe, uh, for the air conditioner. Um, well, it is the condenser. Uh, and it goes in the bottom of the airplane and it would be really, really easy to put it in now versus later. So I bought this thing. Um, anyway, I'm gonna end this video now and I'm gonna start working on this and that's where I'll pick up in probably my next video is getting ready to install this sucker on the bottom of the fuselage. And then I'll finish filming the rest of me uh, completing the section for the, the bottom of this mid fuselage. Anyway, that's it for now.